Hey everybody, so you might have a similar problem that I do where you occasionally or maybe more than occasionally, more often than occasionally, have to copy a lot of files in Windows. And I'm using Windows 10. I've got a fast machine here. Um, I've got some fast hard drives, but it still just seems to take forever to copy files. So as an example, I've got um, well, there's a thousand folders here, but we're just gonna we're just gonna be experimenting and, and copying one of these folders. And each of these folders contain a whole bunch of other folders, and each and in each one of those folders are a bunch of thumbnail images. So we have a high volume of files that need to be copied to another place, to another hard drive. So um, we're gonna set up for that experiment. I'm going to delete this folder and then what we're going to do is copy from this folder to this folder. And we're going to try it many different ways to see which is the fastest. So we'll have a little fly off here to determine that. So just to give you an idea how many files we're talking about, just for this one folder it's 107,000 files. So, so there's a few things to consider. Um, when you're when you're copying files on a, on any computer but especially under Windows the hard drive speed um, if you have slow hard drives it's obviously going to take longer to copy um, if you're copying onto the same drive it could be slower or faster than copying to another drive it just depends on on your drives and and your computer and what you're doing whether or not you have a virus scanner turned on, and I'm gonna I'm gonna turn mine I'm gonna turn the Windows virus scan off right now, just to make sure that that isn't affecting things too much. Your pro the processor of your computer can make a difference, and then obviously if you have other programs running on your computer at the same time, and a, and a good way to check all this out is go to Task Manager. Right click down here on the bar, open up Task Manager, and then look at Performance. And you can see what's going on with your different disks. So we're going to be copying from D to E. So we may keep that up a little bit so you can watch that. Now it's going to take um, some time to do this copy. And uh, I promise you that you're going to have, a, a, for this particular use case where you're copying a folder that contains a lot of files to another location, I'm going to show you a way to do that that's really, really, really fast. Much faster than you would expect that you could do under Windows. But I'm going to walk through a few different things because I've tried a few different things and, and you may try these things as well or you may want to try them or you want to know how things are going to do. This isn't going to be real scientific testing wise. I'm going to try to start each one of these and then start the stopwatch at the same time. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and try it out. So we are going to first just right click we're going to use file explorer first that's the first thing we're going to do so here's here's the here's what we're going to do we're going to do file explorer we're going to do uh, command prompt x copy we're going to do powershell robo uh, robo copy or robust copy powershell copy item and powershell robo copy again it turns out that this will be the one that gives us the best results, but there's some tweaks that we need to do to the parameters to do that. So let's start with File Explorer. So we're going to right click on this and we're going to select Copy, or you could hit Control C or Control C. And then we're just in this test folder over here, we're just going to paste. And then I'm going to pause the video because it's going to, um, it's going to take some time. So I need to get my stopwatch going here. I'm going to start this, start the stopwatch, and then I'll pause the video because you don't want to sit here and have to wait for these to copy. So let's go ahead here. And you can see that it's over here copying away. So I'll pause for a moment. Okay, so we're nearly done here, and I'll stop this as soon as uh, it hits the end. Okay, so it took about a minute and 13 seconds. Again, that's not real super scientific because I don't have a, I'm, I didn't want to take the time to actually code, you know, create codes and script for the timing. So, um, all right, so what we're going to do then is remove this and we're going to try another approach. That didn't seem too bad, but if, if you were imagining that you were going to copy hundreds of millions of files, which in my case, 
Um, I do run into that situation where I've got to do that. Or you're trying to free up space on a hard drive so that you can copy some other things on. There's lots of reasons that you might need to do this. And so, yeah, it doesn't seem too bad if you're just doing that one folder. But if you're doing a thousand, this times a thousand, it becomes significant. Well, what are our other options? One is to use something called xcopy from the command prompt. So you start the command prompt down here and just type cmd and it'll bring up the command prompt. And I've got one of these started already with the command that we're going to use. And it is right here. So um, now with all of these, I'm not going to go into super detail on the parameters. Um, and the reason for that is because you need to go read the documentation because all of these have different reasons why you would set them a certain way. But essentially what we're doing is, is issuing the xcopy command to go from um, this source folder to this destination folder and I've cleaned that up again so it's ready to go. Let me reset my stopwatch. I, I will start this and then I will again pause the video so that you're not having to watch it go through everything. So here we go. Start the video or uh, start the stopwatch I should say, not the video. And then we'll pause the video. Okay, we're nearing the end here. And I think it's actually done. So it just stopped. So you can see that one was uh, actually not faster. 127.13. Again, my timing's off just a little bit, but uh, I think it's ballpark enough for what we're doing. All right, so let's switch over to the new thing in Windows. Uh, over the last several years is something called PowerShell, which is a new shell for the operating system. And we're going to look at some different ways we might attack this particular problem. So let me, uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut this. We're not really paying a whole lot of attention to that. So we're going to start with, we're going to start with something called RoboCopy or Robust Copy. Now the thing to be aware about this is this is, this utility is used to copy files, but it, it gives you a lot of parameters. There's a lot of different ways that you can set up your copies. And, um, I have this one set up to do retries, um, and the important thing here is this this feature right here at the end, or this parameter. Uh, MT is, says, says do this multi-threaded. So I thought, well, is there a way that we could actually do this multi-threaded and get more threads going? In other words, instead of a uh, have have different copies running in parallel. So I I want to copy all these files. Can the copy program figure out how to copy file one, two, and three all at the same time because that would seem like a cool thing. So it turns out that RoboCopy will let you do that. You'll do that by using this this MT or, or multi-threaded thing. So I've got the I've got this recorded and let's reset and we'll start this right here. And then we will start the timer. And I apologize, the font's kind of kind of big on this. And again, I'll pause the video and we'll come back in just a second. All right, well, you can see that it's taking quite a while on this one. And but just keep in mind that there's a lot going on here that the other copy programs aren't doing. And that has to do with making sure that all of your files get moved over there and also logging what it's doing. But it is actually multi-threaded, but... Boy, it's a lot slower even than the File Explorer copy, so that's not that's not great. And uh, so, still crunching away here. Hopefully, we're getting close. You can see the multi-thread nature a little bit. Maybe I don't know if that's coming through very well in the video, but you can see that it's copying multiple files at the same time, which is great. And any second now, it should be done. Apologize for, you can skip ahead a little if you'd like. Uh, we're nearing the end, though. It's really, really slow. Now, you might wonder about the fact that we're displaying the things that are being copied as we go. That certainly has an impact. 
but it turns out with Robocopy that's not the big impact, but, but that certainly does matter. Wow, so 344, almost three times as long. Um, so that that doesn't seem great. So so let's see. So what are so what are our other options here? Uh, I'm going to close that window. And um, well, we can use something called copy item in PowerShell. So we're going to try that out and see if that gives us a little bit better result. So uh, let's see. Now it turns out I didn't delete the I didn't delete this folder before I ran that RoboCopy example, so that definitely would have impacted the performance um, because it was doing a replace of the files. But <coughs> it's still slower the way I had it set up. So uh, you care about the bottom line, and I promise I'm getting there. Uh, don't do the RoboCopy that way unless there's a reason that you need to have those parameters. So let's try copy item out and see how it does. Copy item is another way to copy things. Typically used to copy individual full, uh, files, but um, if you include path and container, recurse and des destination, it'll actually copy the whole folder structure out for you. So hopefully that command will be useful to you. I'm going to go ahead and start this one, and again, we'll pause the video. You'll also notice on this one that it's not um, displaying anything as it goes. So that that's a little disconcerting. So the only way we're going to know that it's done is it's going to return on the command prompt here and let us know. So uh, we'll watch that and uh, be right back. Okay, well I probably should have just stayed here because you can see how long it took. It took 21 seconds. That seems, that seems like, wow, that's, that's awesome. Like, that definitely was um, a lot less time than anything we've seen with File Explorer and, uh, and XCopy. So that almost makes me wonder if the files are actually here. But if I drill down in here, you'll see they actually are. So it did copy. Did a wonderful job. And so let's delete this. And we'll do it again. And some of you watching this are going to say, well, wait a minute, you know, there's some caching going on with your operating system because you're hitting the same files over and over again. You're right. Again, this isn't super accurate scientific, but it is ballpark, and I think that you, I think you'll uh, appreciate the results here. Okay, so that was, that was copy item. All right, so uh, all right, so let's let's get to the let's get to the bottom line, and this is the bottom line right here. We're gonna we're gonna turn off the display of the copy, so that's one thing we're gonna do. We're also gonna tell it not to log anything, and so one thing you may not know about RoboCopy is it's actually doing a bunch of background logging behind the scenes, and that obviously impacts performance. So um, now I got to be careful about how I time this one because it it's going to be relatively fast and I didn't believe it when I saw it but we'll go ahead and do this so so this is turning off a lot of the logging uh, functionality we're still doing multi-threaded 32 32 threads and copying from this folder to this folder so let's go ahead and do it and I'm not going to go away on this one we'll just keep going and when the you'll notice it's not displaying but it is now done in seven seconds so again, wow, not sure I believe that it copied that many files, that it copied 100,000 files in seven seconds. But if I drill in here, sure enough, if I go all the way to the bottom, they're all there. So this is the command that will give you that kind of wonderful performance that you really want when you're copying a lot of files. So I hope this has been useful for you. Please comp, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, every little bit helps me uh, put together this. I've spent several hours today kind of going through this and sharing the information. I'm going to pause one more time and then give you some final numbers. 
All right, let's talk results. So, uh, again, File Explorer was running at about 1,400 files per second. Now, the, only, the other problem with File Explorer is you run into some problems with just sheer sizes. Um, it has to sit there and calculate file counts and all kinds of things like that. So, there's some issues here, especially if I went to 100 million files, which is how many... I have to copy here if I'm going to move all these files over. There's about 100 million of them, or 110 million of them. And uh, I think that would take about um, 20 hours, which is a long time, assuming it could even do it. And I don't know if it could, because every time I try, it's, it just takes so long that it's not worth it. X copy, um, you know, about twice as fast, but still we're looking at about 10 hours, maybe a, maybe a little bit less than that. Robocopy, the way we had it initially set up, not good, right? So, sorry, Xcopy actually takes longer, twice as long as that, so 40 hours. takes a, um, a whole work week to copy those files. Robocopy, um, the way we had it originally configured, even multi-threaded, was even slower than that, so it would take like a week to copy these files. And then copy item, much, much better, right? Uh, really, really good. I think this would probably take about six hours to do uh, at uh, nearly 5,000 files per second. But our winner, by far, is the way we configured RoboCopy with 14,519 files per second, um, roughly 114 minutes to copy 110 million files. That's really fast, and that's really cool. And so uh, our winner is this command. So check that out, and hopefully it helps you out. Hopefully it helps, uh, um, it helps as you're uh, trying to move a lot of files around. It certainly helped me. Thanks for watching. Again, please subscribe to the channel and, and uh, comment uh, if you've got other uh, ideas about how to improve file copies or anything else that I do videos on. We'll see you.